Today's trip, there's a running club, it's just come in. <laughs> We're in Warrington at Walton Hall. I was here many, many years ago. Many, many years ago. I lived in Warrington for 10 years and I think we came here with young Chloe. So we're going to venture out into it, find out where everything is, and get back to you in a bit. Ta da! Right, making our way into Walton Gardens now. Go and see the hall. There's a field here for the sheep. And this has put us in quite a predicament. Which one of them is Bar Bar Black Sheep? Terrible. Absolutely no idea now that's uh, put a spanner in the works. Anyway, get further down into the hall and have a look. I may be able to fly the drone, I'm not too sure yet on account of it being, uh, it might be owned by the National Trust. They don't like drone flying, but I do, so we will see. Catch you later. Just passing Beech Tree Farm. Looks like a nice building. For sale, hay, straw, logs, manure, and stables to let. Look at the ivy down the side of the walls. Fab! So a quick look in the courtyard, because these are the stables to let. So coming down on your horse, you fancy going out and leaving your horse alone, this is where you bring him. Lovely. So that sun's so bright. Good stuff, eh? <laughs> right, onward. A hole is down here. I believe there's some water as well, so this is going to be good. Well, after much wandering around in the wilderness, there's a golf course here, and they're on the other side of the road as well. Because we know the hall and gardens over in that direction, but we didn't know how to get there, so we can't miss a little bit of a hill. And lo and behold, it's not well signposted at all. Here we go. Footpath to Walton Hall and Gardens. Thank God for that. <laughs> so we're going to go down here now and get to our final destination. Let's his on. His way. I'm going to follow. See when we get to the uh, gardens, if we do. Great in it. <laughs> right, come off the public walkway. Look at this. People camping. Wow. The hall apparently is just over here, so you can camp out here. I'm gonna figure out now where have they got their cars in here. Because we should have done that. We've walked everywhere, <laughs> walked all over the place. Yeah, bloody brilliant. Unless you want to get a tent and just come and park, camp out here, park out here. It would be so nice. Right. We've just found out the reason why there's so many people camping here today. This is our great hall. What a beautiful piece of architecture. Amazing place. Now, when I was on the website this morning for Walton Hall, I did say they, used to, they do medieval battle reenactments. And that's why there's so many people here today. As you can see there, medieval dress, they have muskets. Uh, there's gonna be a musket challenge. There's also going to be a drum display. We saw some drummers walking down past the hall that way earlier. So we're gonna see what we can get on film. Just so lucky you came here today of all days. And we're gonna witness this. There's some alpacas over there. Brilliant. Let's get a bit closer to the action and see what we can see. It's very exciting, this. Glad we came here now. It took us a long time to find the place. But um, I think that's because we went in completely the wrong direction. Ended up walking around a golf course to get here. But we're here. Look at this. Fantastic. Brilliant. Lovely hall though, look at that. What's a medieval dress going on here today? 
<laughs> awesome. Get a bit further around the other side, see where all the drummers are, where the action's going to be. Bit more footage of the hall. On the other side. Ace. There's the clock tower. Round here. There's more tents around here. I think this is where they're going to have the drum display, the medieval drums. Uh, there'll be a musket shootout. I'll tell later. <laughs> I don't really want to get involved in that. <laughs> oh, oh, wonderful. Here you go. Cycle Museum, outdoor games. Forget you not, the formal gardens, play area, and children's zoo. So, this is the place to bring your children, have a nice family day out. And if you're very lucky, you're going to bump into people like this. How's that? <laughs> anyway, camera off for a short period. I'll go and find more to look at. As you can see, they're getting ready. I don't know whether this could be a battle with the sticks or not. You see all the tents? Got a gun there. There's more cannons over there. Quite fascinating, this. As I say, we weren't expecting this to be here. A few of the rangers keeping the place nice and tidy. These guns, more weapons stood up there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, there's a kiddies' playground area over there. More interested in these. A cannon. Amazing. This is how life once was many, many years ago. Nice array of weapons there. Some more people getting ready. I do hope there's no bloodshed. <laughs> I don't think there will be. How good is this? Hey? Like it? Here come the drummers. Get a bit closer to the drummers, I think. See you in a bit. Just before we go and see the drummers over there, just going past this cannon, so I'll share it all with you. Have a little look at this beauty. Well, it's starting now. The gentlemen are telling us all about the uh, English Civil War in the 17th century. These were representatives of the soldiers from that era. They were known as Gentlemen of the Pike. So I'm just a uh, Oh, this fellow's got a musket. Now, no arguing with you. Are you a godly person? Are you a follower of that man of blood? Charles Stuart calls himself King of England when there is only one true king, that's King of Jesus. No, I'm a firm follower of him. <laughs> I'm a Christian, if that's good enough. <laughs> it's very appropriate that um, King Charles III is addressing the joint parliament 
Is that loaded? No. Nope. Thank God for that. No, seriously. I don't think I'll be so if I don't agree with you, you would have shot me then. <laughs> I will be loading later. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. They'll be firing muskets later. Wow. How long does it take to load? Not too long. Here we go. We've got. In there. Tip it round there. You pour the rest of it in there. You normally then put a ball in. Then you use the cut as the wadding. You then. Um, the Temper it down. You make it nice and firm. Remove it. Take it back down. So what would the range be of a shot? Or a hundred yards maybe. Uh, but the thing is it's very in inaccurate. It's not a rifle. Yeah. So you'd fire as a block. That's the only way you're not even hitting it. Hit, hit, hit. Wow. later. Here we go. Good stuff. It doesn't, it's not explosive. Well, that's be on the end of one of them. Would you? The, the gas compression then fires out. Yeah. Here we are in the Bolton Hall grounds. This is how people used to live. The 17th century. The cooking going on there. Fire's going. Writing with a quill. That's Tony Walls to say. Now then. instruments. Fantastic. Wonder what's for lunch then? They all camped in these tents overnight to do this. Still the drums in the background. There's still a bit of a battle going on on the open space. There's a bit of armour. So impressive. Going back to the silk mill. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Hello there. How are you? You're going to be a star on YouTube later on today. I wasn't expecting this today at all. But here we are. <laughs> Well, absolutely, yeah. Well, it did forecast rain for this morning, but it's not, which I'm quite glad about because I'd have missed all this. I'd have stayed indoors. 
I'm glad I came out now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, at your wedding, yes, yeah. Fabulous photo, that one. Yeah. I have, I'm, I'm very photogenic, it seems, when I've had like, a drink or two. It's really just amazing, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it is definitely, uh, if you get into it properly, it is almost like a life. I'm just surviving in just one of these tents. This is probably what they took to battle with them and camped out. Incredible. I'm going to go and look at the Arboretum now. Give these people a bit of peace and quiet. For me and my bloody annoying camera. <laughs> it's going to be cooler now. Never mind. And the last bit of filming for today is in the greenhouses. Where there's lots of plants to get. It's lovely. Oh, just outside, the little train's on its way. It is. This is a great place to bring your family. The kids, a fantastic day out. Here comes Thomas the Tank Engine. Look at this. There we go, look at that, look at that, brilliant. <laughs> Some nice plants in here. Give me ideas for my house. What I really want is a cactus. Look at these beauties here. I so want a cactus. You can hear water, this is why. Fishies! What's that? Beautiful. Let's explore further. What's in that in your lounge? That's not. <laughs> All sorts of fascinating plants. God, it's quiet in here. Look at all that. No idea what it is, but it smells fantastic. Oh, there's the temperature. 20 degrees, it doesn't feel that warm. What's of this? I'm going to have to Google this to find out what on earth that plant is that's been draped over the wood there. Nice, isn't it? I don't know why I'm being so quiet. There's nobody else in here apart from Les. I'm not here. No, he's not here. Bromeliads in the home. Mm. It's got musicians out there now. All this is at Walton Hall in Warrington. Strongly recommend you visit this place. It's quite wonderful. Oh, we've not been to the petting zoo yet. There is a petting zoo here as well as a kids' playground. Jungle. Into the jungle. And again. The little Bolton Hall in the petting zoo. Look. Hello, peacock. Oh, jeez.
little goats. Lovely. No very well as it's headed. We've got alpacas. They can actually walk these. You can walk an alpaca. How lovely for your kids. Plenty to do, plenty to see. Lovely.